Well, Amos was out at the park last week bitching <laughs> about the kind. You know, Amos. Not man, paying no, attention. Amos, he man. bitching. Oh, like, okay. yeah, you're over on the side. Y'all was over on the side. Uh -huh. Making them change their format. Boy, you know, man, they're going they're trying to match it. Anything that goes <coughs> right now in media is going to have to change with this, you know, this approach that's going down now. If it stay pat, they're going to lose. And you are sitting in and cruising with the Jumbo Love Show Radio Next <laughs> TV on the Cool Group site. Let me get my prayer in early this morning. I'm a Lord, Father, Heavenly Father. I want to thank you for all your grace and all your mercy. You keep bestowing upon this, brother. Please, Father, let this little light of mine keep on shining in the lives and hearts of those in need and those who don't give a damn. Please, Father, dang, I cursed in my prayer. Forgive me already on that, because it's going to be that kind of morning, because Jumbo is fired up. Father, let these people listening be entertained, educated, and empowered as we keep bringing through the airwaves the best information, the news you can use, and some of the jazz kicking blues. And Father, in advance, forgive me for what I might say in the next four hours, because it will be a trip. And please pray for my brother, who just lost a loved one, Mr. Chris Rowe back in. in your name we pray, amen. Wow! Back up in the studio after two weeks on the road, on the choppy seas, out there in the desert. <laughs> sometimes good, sometimes bad. But we are back up in here, and we're ready to have a really, really good show this morning. Um, we've got a lot going on. The cliff of summer is coming along, and uh, we've got a lot, lot to go on. But before we go any further, Chris Bro Banyan, man, we, we want to send our condolences and prayers out to you, man. I know you lost your brother last night, and uh, you in here today, which means you are a warrior. Um, better Thanks, be sitting sir. around, you know, laying in it. But uh, you know, God bless you, man. I appreciate it. Keep it working. Papa D, long time no see, partner. I get paid. <laughs> yeah, I work. Man, I go there. where the cash cash. And the mic is wonder over there. Bobby the bitch. Oh, Bobby got a mic. Bobby got a mic. Oh, Bobby got a mic. Oh, got a mic. All right, y'all messing with Bobby my live dial in there. Yeah, we got we got Studville up in the house after two or three weeks away from the Radio Next Dot TV studio, and uh, just glad to be back home. And uh, last week we were out at West Montgomery Park and had a great great time um, at the. Uh, Saving endangered species over there that uh, Pastor Sullivan put out. That, I'm telling you, people, if we say we want to do some things, don't talk about it, be about it. And I uh, just want to thank Pastor Kenneth Sullivan Jr., uh, Crystal Babs, Yolanda, all of you great people over there who helped make this happen. Um, this is what we do more of, and I, and I hope that people listening right now understand that the only way to make action happen is to create action. And, uh, you know, people will come out. The people last week were out at West Montgomery Park. Uh, the forums were great. I mean, great atmosphere, uh, something for everybody, and uh, just a great, great time. Uh, Papa, we were just talking about the Charlie Wilson show. Let me get right to it. We're going to talk about it again as the people tune in. Uh, you've been around this concert business for, what, 35? Just a little bit. A little bit. bit. Look, long, enough, long enough to have an opinion yeah. that matters. Yeah. Uh, this, was, this had to be, and I was saying it earlier, I have been this excited about a concert since the pyramids came down in Market Square Arena. No, this was that kind of show. Uh, Joe, Kim, and Charlie Wilson. And I have to, I have to digress and say I'm sorry, guys, for calling you the Three Stooges. Y'all the three baddest seven guns in the world. No, I was talking about Charlie, Kim, oh. and Joe. Like Larry, Curly, and all. <laughs> all these first name wonders, but no, man. They turned the house out, djgino.com. Uh, you are the man. You are sitting on top of the mountain right now, Big Daddy. But uh, just a great, great show. Great performance. And if you get an opportunity to see them as you're listening out here in this cyber world, uh, check them out if they come to your city. I know they were in Columbus last night. And uh, my baby girl was all on Facebook doing selfies, you know, trying to be, you know, talking about how cute she was, she'd be ready to go, you know, love you, Nikki. <laughs> Daddy loves you. What's been happening, fellas? Anything, but, but anything new? Let, let me, since you said selfies, what is this shit with selfie sticks? <laughs> what? They came up with a new thing called a selfie stick where you can take 
Long selfies. Long selfies. <laughs> That's for those little oh, dinosaur arms. You know, John McCain arm bastards. Technology <laughs> is a selfie. <laughs> I mean, you know, they come up with everything. A hey, selfie stick. I'm yeah, like, man, wow. Yeah, hey, I, hey, I, I like uh, some of them like 30, 35, 40 right. bucks. So I admire. Been, I admire the genius of taking <laughs> yeah, advantage. Bucks. Some of them. Well, but you go on eBay, you can find one for nine ninety nine. But you don't know what kind of quality. I mean, it's oh, it's amazing the stuff that gets invented. Or if you've got a thirty six inch reach like Jumbo, love, <laughs> yeah. you, can, you know you can take a, you can take a selfie with six or seven people. In <laughs> yeah, a selfie stick. Yeah, I'm like, wow. But you got to give them love, though. Hell yeah, hey, yeah. They saw they somebody smiling. Smiling. They, they saw somebody smiling. Smiling. Hell yeah, they said they all on <laughs> eBay and Amazon. Oh, they're yeah. buying it. Now they're going to get smart and get one to do you from the front and the back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, that used, what they used to call that? Around the world? Oh, around the world. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, you <laughs> did go back to the landing of the mothership <laughs> and the pyramids. <laughs> that was a digress. Wow. That was, you know, back in the day, that was, you know, that was imaginary yeah, stuff. Wasn't it? Around the world. Real deal, real deal. Real deal, real deal. Real deal. Uh, in a day. <laughs> <laughs> For at least 45 minutes. Yeah, I know. Extra cost yeah. your money. Right, so it's in the national. What's happening, player? Yeah, everything is great, man. Yeah. I just know that uh, being here, working, is, is what's all about. Therapeutic. Come on, what you said earlier about the family. You know? Yeah. So, well, the biggest thing I got to let, let people understand about family, you know, whoever's listening in today, you know, call your family and it's all up. Just tell me love them. You know, I don't care what they did to you. I don't care if they didn't come to your birthday party. I don't care if they didn't come to the graduation. If they didn't talk to your mom or right or whatever. Just call them because you know what? All you got is family. And when my family got together yesterday in the hospital room, you know, we're all out or misfits or outcasts, you know. So when we get together, it just comes down to us. So we all got to put things together, make it work. And we can't make excuses, well, I should have or I, I should have done this or... Uh, well, maybe I should have done this, or we should have done that. No, just do it now. You know, get, give people the flowers while you can, and, and just show some love because you know we're family. This is a family right here. You yeah, already know. It's been apart, right. and then guess what? Now it's come back together, but then it's stronger as a unit. It, it's, it's like I say. Oh, I forgot all about y'all. If, <laughs> if is the is we can't call you and say we love you, right? <laughs> if is the last thing I want to say on my deathbed. I don't want to be saying if. Right. That's the smallest word, in the, one of the smallest words in the dictionary, but has some of the biggest meanings. I don't want to say if I had done this or yes. if I had done that. I don't want to say that. I want my dash, you know, from that birth date and that death date, that dash, that yeah. dash is what you make of it. And I, 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 want, I don't want a big if in that dash. That's right. I'm but dash that. rip rock. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm turning my dash out. I yeah, am now out. he's the foot yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, uh, you guys heard uh, Dusty Rhodes fast. Yeah, yeah, Dusty yeah. Rhodes fast. Man, I, you know, in that show, they say we're only 69. I thought back in the day, 70. He was 70. He looked 70. Yeah. He looked, he looked, I know you're 69. I thought he was about 103 or something. He <laughs> 69. I'm like, yeah. Probably too much worrying for my his little tricky son oh, out there man. dressing like a woman and stuff man. in the wrestling man. arena. Man. Dusty Rhodes. Remember that? You know something that we don't know. He was Caitlyn before Caitlyn was Caitlyn. Who was that, man? Who was that? Uh, Dusty Rhodes. What was his name? Uh, He came out and turned into like a gold gold stump of gold dust. And it was like he was some little transsexual. And he used to go out there and start wrestling and then start doing a little move on the dudes. The dudes would <laughs> get hypnotized and then he'd run over and club on the head. And I'd be jacked up to him. And the dude started acting like he wanted me. I, I know Roger Blades listening. You can relate to that kid. Yeah, you know, that you little dog. wrestler. That moon dog. <laughs> moon dog. Moon dog. dog. Yeah. Yeah. Wrestlers don't age, man. I'm just, I'm just looking back and like, come on, man. Rick Blair. He's Dick the Bruiser, man. Yeah. Dick the Bruiser. Dick Bruiser. Dick the Bruiser. Dick Bruiser. Bruno San Martino? San Martino. San Martino, yeah, oh, big time. Man. Man. Yeah. And I, remember, I remember when people used to think that stuff was real. Oh, they yeah, like, yeah. oh they, man, nigga. Like, it was a cage matches, cage matches to the death. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan Putsky used to beat you down, man. Well, yeah. well, here's the real deal. Now, this is real deal. Is uh, Moondog is setting up, and that Moondog is a uh, our, our former extern from uh, Brown Mackey College who is now on the D-Rock and Soul show every Thursday, and he's a professional wrestler. Um, and they do uh, Midwest cities and uh, 
he's actually going to bring the son of Bobo Brazil. Oh, oh wow. Well, yeah, Bobo okay, Brazil. Is the same Bobo. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Say, yeah. 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 chilly, not walk. Uh, so, yeah, down from Bobo Brazil's area in the South America. But no, he's going to bring him on. That's going to be live as hell. We might just do a little wrestling flick and uh, see what's happening on there. Go do a show live, Jumbo Love Live from a wrestling ring. That might be crazy. Uh, take yeah. Papa D. They'll think you're wrestling with all your damn Buffalo Soldier gear on. <laughs> <laughs> what's happening, brother? Hey, you know, you, what's, what's happening, brother? Ernie Lamb. Ernie Lamb. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> he was a bad dude. Former Kansas City Chief. Kansas City Chief. There you go. Yeah, he's he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna he hit somebody. History yeah. lesson on Jumbo yeah. Love, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Before we bore you, I think we need to kick your jazz first. Vit, yo, you ready to turn them out? Yeah. All right, y'all stick and stay. We're going to come back. We have a great time on the cruise this morning. We've got some people coming in. My man from Chicago, we had the B-Side Radio coming in today. And uh, just want to give Jeff Kenton some love, too. He lost his dad to prostate cancer. And uh, like you say, uh, uh, just just love somebody. Tell somebody you love them, man, and get all that hate out of your little crazy asses out here because I'm serious. Uh, life, once it's over, this is it. It's over. That's and, the script. And, and, and to piggyback, you know, tell them you love them, but... but but don't uh, act like I don't exist while I'm alive and then want to cry your heart out when I'm dead. Yeah, Fuck right. that. Right. Hey, you going to treat me like shit while I'm alive, treat me like shit when I'm dead. I, be consistent. I love shit. having to ran her back. Because <laughs> <laughs> I sure do make this therapy, but we need some uh, bitter in our sweet. No, oh, that's right. Yeah. We're great. Kick your jazz. Take some names. Bobby, take it away. You're we'll listening to the sounds for the Jumbo Love Show. show. Summer Groove on the Jumbo Love Show. Show right. I'll be damned. That motherfucker's out in California. Wake already listening. On the app for, uh, I think I did. I thought I did. You see one out there? Or did we start well, with the web? Well, I didn't start anything new. I, I'm not sure, but I think we started with the web. I did. 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 Oh, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Your dream, yeah. yeah. Your dream something. Yeah, your dream turned into your, your nightmare. Your dream kills you. Your dream so it turns into a nightmare. Yeah. 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 And, and the people in the restaurant, they're coming out, you know. Panic and, and, and trip. And they've been doing it for like three hours. They used to come. Come on, dog. That's fucked up. I don't know what that release thing is. I think it's under the seat or something like that. Yeah, probably no uh, hit, so it's not sticking out. Yeah, that's, that's I'm sorry, I'm busting one out. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, oh, and the other yeah. thing is, in your car, you, you got to carry something with you. I mean, I got a, I, I got, I got a hammer. Yeah. yeah, something that's not actually a gun. Yeah, if I hear about the dude, uh, to do the Texas, he, uh, Point he out, around, man. I got, got him, uh, Saturday morning lunch. His dream car was a, a Corvette. He got in his car after he got in his restaurant. He died of heat exhaustion because everything is the power. See, I don't need the stick. <laughs> yeah, I don't need a selfie yeah. stick. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and this was the first one of these motherfuckers I had sold. So I'm new to this bitch. So I'm not thinking about all the transition that this dude was having to make right. and the purchase. Fuck it, you know, you know, you're just selling what you're selling. So you ain't thinking about it. this old motherfucker can't get this. He said, left the car running all weekend. Said he, because he didn't know how to turn it off. So he had to go fill the bitch up. He said, the first thing I did Monday was get my shit, come back north to come get my car back. So he sent me for Christmas, thinking he caused me a problem, sent me four fifty dollar bills, thanking me for it. You know, you were very nice and shit, my life. <laughs> it was fucked up, man. I said, damn. You never think about that shit though. Yeah, for old people it's gotta be rough, man. Technology is not for it. It is not, it is not made for, you know, older folks, yeah, man. Yeah. Unless they get they get in on it, right? And they, and they really, they really still don't want to, you know, like, like that. I like the old way, man. Shit, I still like cars that got carburetors and shit where I can change that bitch. You see, I'm gonna to take it into the, to the dealer. That's right. We started out early, kicking your jazz early in the morning. We gonna put our put all up in it today. Uh, the bit is restless, and he feels like jazz kicking this morning. Uh, we'll get big shouts out to the people over. Uh, in, in George Brown's neighborhood, if you're listening out there, they having their big neighborhood garage sale this morning. And I told George to play the music, and we're going to say hey to all the family and friends over in Stonebrook, or whatever the name of where it is. Where is that? Right right right. Oh, right around there on Georgetown Road. So you're out and about, you want some real good deals, go right up off of 63rd in Georgetown Road, take a left, and go into that little cul-de-sac. Yeah, I was in the neighborhood last night dropping off Rodney's truck. Oh, okay. I put on the... Yeah, that's what they do now. Is that what they do now? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> is that what we call it now? I, I don't know they're dropping off ladders and everything. Yeah. But uh, that's the neighborhood. If they ever have a garage sale, that's where you want yeah, to go. That's yeah, that's right. Go and, to the car more fishes, go to the new garage sale. And, and the reality is, is some real good stuff. And, and as we continue, <laughs> wheels too. We, right. do, uh, we do the community free giveaway. Uh, pretty much every other month. Now, it started out as like a twice a year deal when we were over at Kaleidoscope, and now it's like every other month because people are really generous about understanding that, you know, their trash is another, is another man's treasure. And uh, those are some opportunities for people who are in need of some things to, you know, actually go pick up some great value because, you know, people recycle their stuff faster when you got more money. And yeah. so, you know, last year's stuff is dated now to them, yeah. <laughs> to them yeah. you know. So uh, go check it out and uh, right up off 63rd and Georgetown Road. Have a good time. I want to give big shout outs to my sponsors as we begin this show. And sponsorship <coughs> is what we're all about here at Radio Next TV. Um, before I get to the sponsors, man, you know what we're doing. I've got a drive out now, Papa D, where we're going to let people come on. We're going to help them build their own show. And what we're saying is we're going to act like the Walmart. You bring your little stuff in our kiosk <laughs> or, or your kiosk in our store. And uh, if you have a topic, if you have something that's really con of a concern to you and you want to voice it and talk about it, it can generate you an audience, we're going to have a build your own radio show. And I'm going to take 10 of the best shows, or minimum amounts a month, like less than what it would cost in a newspaper, a local newspaper, not call a name or anything. But it's only one local newspaper. Well, hell, no, I'm still not calling names because I want them to be a partner too. But for less than that, you can come on and voice your Chris. You like that? <laughs> that frown on you was like, wow, HB, you're getting deep. I told you, I'm getting all the way up in it today. Well, that's, you know. that's business, man. Yeah. But no, for less than that, you can actually have your uh, topic heard, seen, and remain relevant. Uh, this new medium allows you the opportunity to. Uh, take printed material and turn it into uh, voice and then turn that voice into action being live on remotes. And so uh, we want to really start showing what we're about here at RadioNext.tv and we want to thank uh, Bosman Enterprises doing great work in our community on educating and uh, employing the blind and visually impaired and we uh, just thank them for coming along for a second year and uh, my main man Lee Martin, I always have to do those two back to back, that's like a tag team wrestling for the blind. Lee Martin, and see what I'm saying, he and co-host Flo bringing you the best information in that uh, blind and visually impaired community uh, each and every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. here on the Cruel Group site. Please check them out. Paycation Travel, Jeff and Carla Rochelle, um, they're going to teach you how to get paid while you live in the lap of luxury. 
and uh, vacation travel is a great opportunity if you're looking for a home-based business and want to earn some extra income while you travel, please check them out. And cruise planners, and damn it, you need to get your $55 down right now. Um, we have until June the 25th, Chris was able to extend last Monday's deadline because we need to get you people signed up uh, to go on this cruise. May 20th, 2016, we're going to do Jumbo Love Live, three days, three nights out of Miami, go to Coco Bay, to go to Nassau, and then go back into Miami. But we're going to have a great time actually bringing you Jumbo Love Live from Coco Bay on the beach. Can you imagine that, Papa? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I have to say about that's that. That's all you have to say about that? <laughs> Web Source International. I don't know who in the hell they are, but they can equip you. Uh, oh, I think I've got somebody here to talk about Web Source International. Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Web Source International, we uh, provide custom services for businesses. Take it away, Chris. <laughs> Bobby couldn't have said any better. Hey, Bobby. Yeah. Thank you very much. Welcome, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it? That's it. All right. Oh, that's, that's the quickest that, 15 minutes. That, that, that's it. <laughs> no, we also want to give big shouts out to Shar's Hair. If you need some of the best damn fake hair or wig, go to Shar's <laughs> Hair. I'm telling you, man, the sister's got a boutique up at 8330 Nav Road, Suite 130. And uh, I actually had a chance to visit her establishment. And uh, the, the, the business started, I'll show you how the, the grace of God works. She started out taking care of women who were going through chemotherapy and radiation after, you know, uh, uh, having cancer or whatever, and they would lose their hair, and then they had to come in and, and make sure that they were looking beautiful. And uh, now she's taking it and just expanding. Now she's got custom wigs, luxury wigs. And brothers, when your woman takes off that $1,000 wig, smack that ass. <laughs> and be, be mad about it. $1,000 for a wig, but she was looking good when she was wearing it. Now she got that little nap cap on her head. Now, let me shut up. Uh, also, <laughs> also, real time chief information officer, Monica and Clay. <laughs> Wouldn't you just want to kick some ass? <laughs> you know what? You, you talk about when oh, oh, I don't know the last thing you ever been in it. Supply yeah. yeah. My mother was a beautician for 51 years, so on many occasions I used to go over her yeah. beauty supply. Yeah. Bailey's was the, the uh, that was it. Home, the, and was really the only thing in the city. Yeah. Man, you go into these shops. Over three quarters of the shop is just fake hair. They're serious about it's, it. It's a, a, another like selfie stick. They saw yeah. me. They saw and, me. And, 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 it's, that's, and it's three quarters of the store is hair. And I ain't going to call no names, but we got a, a real-time listener here that listens to Jumbo Love, and she changes her do up so much, I don't even know who she is sometimes. They got, they got, what, what's it, Bobby? Bobby, who you talking about? Bobby. Don't start no shit. I, I wouldn't do that on the radio. Don't, you know Jumbo Love don't start no stuff. Don't be no shit. Don't be no shit. Also, our great sponsor, real-time chief information officer, Monica and Clay Weird. If you want to do business like big business and have your small business operating fine, you call Real Time Chief Information Officer. <laughs> and the new t-shirts are out. <laughs> Love you too. A girl by design, Miss Pat Perry, making some of the best uh, uh, shirts and t-shirts and hats and paraphernalia for your business. Please check out Apparel by Design. And we've got the big Houston Golf League tournament coming up July 17th. Uh, Chucky Barnett, Tony Barnett, brothers here from the city living down in Houston now. Yeah, yeah, They're coming Chuck, back home. Chuck they, yeah, Chucky, with, yeah, Chucky went to Addicts and Tony, uh, Tony, I think Tony went to, yeah, they both went to Addicts yeah. and then they went to Arlington Tony's after, yeah. But uh, they're coming home July 17th, and they're bringing a tournament oh, here. Really? They were, yeah, and they're actually going to be playing at the Brickyard, damn it. Oh, so, yeah, you know, that's prestigious. Yeah. So it's only $175 to register. And uh, the Houston Golf League is uh, supporting and giving sponsorships to underprivileged children in the neighborhood, and they've taken this golf thing and turned it out. And uh, if you don't know this, the Brickyard is one of the most prestigious golf courses in the country. And it's hard to even get in there to play if you're just a regular Linkster. So you might want to get in on this tournament. Uh, they've got free uh, black screen TVs. They're giving away golf bag, Garmin watches, and they also have a ten thousand uh, dollar par three hole. You want, yeah, you're holding one, ten grand. So uh, if you really can play some golf, I suggest that you get signed up. Uh, you can go to Houston Golf uh, Golf League dot org. That is Houston Golf League dot org and register online, or give Tony Barnett a call at Tony B. 
uh, no, email him at tonyb561 at hotmail.com or give him a call. Area code 832-231-7177. Again, that is 832-231-7177 if you have any questions. And they're going to be up in there, and that is actually Black Expo weekend. Yeah, right. So uh, that's going to be a great tournament. We hope to get some brothers out there on uh, the, the, the golf hey, course over at the break. Hey, man. Hey, man. That's hey, progress. Man. Yes. I ain't mad at him either. Take the ball, too. Yep. Yeah. 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 College planning strategies. My main man, John Baird, is doing some great things helping you get your financial health together. Um, I am actually partnering with him now, and uh, uh, I'm just trying to lead people to him because he took me and uh, got a financial snapshot of my life, and it, thank God that's not health. And it's financial wealth because uh, if it, I, I'd be up in hospice right now after the snapshot of my financial health. Yeah. But, but, but I will say this. After hosting this show for the last seven weeks, I'm going to tell you it is a serious need. It is a necessity for people to understand how their finances are being spent, you know, where they're going. Um, you can think you're doing the right thing. You know, some of the assurances that you have are not adequate in today's world. Some of the 401ks that you're saving into, you might want to think about uh, mixing it up a little bit, taking some of that money out. So it's now um, money that you can use to, to spend properly as you try to get your kids ready to go to college. You start putting up hoarding on your money and it's not working for you. So there's a lot of advantages to knowing about how your financial health is. And so uh, we want to bring that to you each and every Wednesday afternoon, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Cool Group site. Uh, this is the first time I'm talking to somebody and every week I go in, it's like a, you know you can ready to walk in and get a lesson because you just don't know. And if no one tells you about it, how do you know? So we want to just thank those great sponsors for keeping Radio Up Next TV and the Jumbo Love Show afloat. And uh, with that being said, I think we want to kick some more jazz up in this Mickey Flicky. Bobby? Yo, yo. Tell them what's happening, man. We got Paul Jackson Jr. Put flavor. Hey, don't be starting no shit up, buddy. Don't be starting no shit. Huh? Can't hear you. What? Hey, hello. Oh, Bobby, is this is on? Hey. Hey, on. Hey, hey. Uh, hey, who are you? You got no Louis Johnson guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Bell yeah. waiter. Huh? Oh, yeah, since Please. you've been gone, shit, yeah. we got a who's who of obituary. Yeah. What's the guy's point? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, two weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. A couple yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. 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 Was it Ornette yeah. Coleman? Last week. Hey, Bobby, Ornette yeah. Coleman, the jazz saxophone? Uh, yeah, I saw him. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what's it called? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Before yeah. Charlie Parker. Yeah. Somebody, yeah, they, they was on uh, Facebook or something. There was somebody here called Bill Myers, probably got a question on his face. What, somebody here? Yeah. Jazz legend or something? Larry Cowley. Yeah. There was somebody in Chicago, he and his wife were killed in a wreck, and he was some jazz cat. Take, take, take the ass with you. 
I mean, and I'm just saying, it's just like us being somebody. I got the best guy on the other I'm going to DM up. He ain't getting nothing. He ain't going to get nothing to me. And if Curry can't get past that, there's a problem. Well, yeah. see, but they, they can scheme past that, which they figured, well, out, they figured out in the last quarter of well, game three. And yeah, but Cleveland was tired. No, 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 just a sports enthusiast because <laughs> my, my, my scripture wasn't sacred anymore but I will say this we were talking about the championships the NBA finals and uh, Cleveland and Golden State you can pick your choice but Cleveland something Golden about State. Cleveland Golden State Cleveland, Cleveland. Go stay, go Lakers. <laughs> oh Lord, that was one for the hit the gut on the Laker fan over here. And speaking of the Lakers, you know, no one ever talks about the last three feet that was done. Who's the Lakers? That's right. Who's the Lakers? That's right. Yeah. I mean, but that's that's like unwritten history. Nobody speaks of it, like how great that was and how dominant it was. It's just like, oh, Kobe. And and I don't know because we were the first. Now, here, and here's the real deal, just in all sports, realistically, when you start building a dynasty now, you have to be exceptional in your front office because. Um, back in the day, you used to be able to assemble a team, and for seven, eight, nine years, you didn't have to worry about free agency. Yep. You didn't have to worry about people going to the highest bidder or key components of your team leaving because now somebody said, I can pay him yeah. more than you can, you bastards. And so, <laughs> so now to, to be able to construct a team like what New England does over there with their football team is phenomenal. I mean, they let guys go, and they just bring in another guy just like them the next year to fit their system. So... Uh, but in any case, I think it would be in the, you know treated to a great. I mean, basketball is good to watch again because yeah. um, these. I mean, you know, when you look at the two different teams, I mean, they are so different. But man, they are falling. Uh, and so, uh, I'm just taking Cleveland for the Cleveland. fact that they've got six championship rings on their team, and there's something about winning that helps you understand how to do it again versus the first time out. There's some obstacles that'll come up and you've never faced that. Um, how do we get over that hump? Right. So it, it'll be interesting. I, and, and I, I, can count, I can count four. Who's the six? Keep in mind. Keep in mind. Yeah. The coach. Yeah. Well, you know, Mike Miller's still on the team. Oh, that's right. Mike yeah. Miller. Yeah. Uh, you got Sean Merriman. Sean Merriman. Yeah. 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 That's right. They got the Matrix. If they, if they, mix up, if they let James him play. Jones. James Jones got yeah. two. Yeah. Mary can LeBron's score. got two. Mary can rebound. And Mary can run the court. And Mary is old as hell. No, he's 32. Yeah, no, he's older than 32. Well, you Sean is the oldest dude in the league. That's what you said. Let's Google it. <laughs> Google it. That's what I'm saying. I'm guaranteeing he's older than 32. Oh, yeah, he just turned 33. <laughs> he's been in the league almost 32 years. <laughs> Let me put it like this. When they name you the Matrix, you owe. <laughs> yeah, as, as a nickname, you know, you call it the Matrix. So, you know, you get a, if you get a nickname back for 20 years ago when the movie came out, you're about that long in the league, probably. And uh, so, but no, just enjoy yourself while you're watching it. Don't lose a whole bunch of money. is 37 and, years old. And speaking of the recap, since we've last been on there on the Jumbo Love Show, uh, what about the Triple Crown winner? Oh, that was, yeah, you know, yeah, I, I had got that story. I, 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 I did too. I was 
sitting up there excited by yeah. your damn self. I almost got a chubby watching that horse ride. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> but, you know. you know, that's, that's, that's the male horse. You know, I know some women. <laughs> <laughs> that's know the, the, the white right man watching the horse. <laughs> I know some women got some hind parts like that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's still, that's still a male horse. You know? Well, <laughs> I'm not I'm not a male loving kind of dude, but that oh, like, horse like running down yeah. yeah, that horse running down the stretch coming oh, down and I you know he was banging it down the stretch too, man. I said, Okay, is he gonna get caught? You know, because well, no, he was running like a brother. Yeah. <laughs> Being chased by a cop. Wow. Was a Mex- a Mexican on wow. his back. He had a Mexican on his back. Wow. <laughs> Next, he's like, let's go, bro. Come on, home. Sponsors. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> hey, that's not racist. That's a fact, man. <laughs> you got a black horse and you got a Mexican yeah, jockey, man. Come on, man. But no, man. But, you know, it's been a, been a fabulous week. And uh, we've got a lot to talk about, too. Because uh, DJ Gino, after the great concert that we just had Thursday night with Charlie, Kim, and Joe, is bringing the Summer Jam to the Fairgrounds Coliseum. And let me tell you, Old school hip hoppers. All of you jazz listeners right now, once upon a time, probably some old school hip hoppers. And we've got Naughty by Nature, Juvenile, what? SWV, no, SWV, Da Brat, Shock G. We've got <coughs> Shock G and Rob Bates. That's oh. what they call it old school now. Mm-hmm. See, Shock G was digital. I, I, I was call old school Sugar Hill Gang. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> my faithful is just blow. That's old. That's old. That's old. Well, here's what's old school. My faithful assistant, Miss Tracy Drake, who says, I'm late. <laughs> Already. <laughs> Wait a minute. She late, going to be here by 10. Y'all want to take some bets? No. Uh, be 10 30? All right, no bets. <laughs> Shit. Look, look, they already know that's going to be later than 10, so no. we already know. No, this is old school. Sugar Ray doing the damage on Tommy Hearns. Oh, that oh, is old that, school. That, that, that's, school. That's old school. That same year too, Sean Marion was born. Yeah. <laughs> so speaking, speaking of when people can't take a punch, what's up with Tommy Hearns, man? Uh... You couldn't take a punch. Bro, you know, I'm telling you, man, your head is not made to be hit on like that, and then you get older and act like you're going to have some clear and, 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 and conscious faculty. It's going to happen to your boy, uh, Mayweather. It's going to happen to him. You can already see it coming. He's going to be just like his daddy. What's your name? His daddy, crazy as hell. And if you're out there listening, you too little for me even to give a damn about you. <laughs> little bitty ass <laughs> trillionaire. <laughs> money, money, well, money. Damn, money. on that, let's continue to kick some jazz, Bobby, and take some names. You're listening to the Jumbo Love Show already. Body Bible, 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 Bible. Down goes freezing. And not run like that now. <laughs> Oh, oh no. 
that's some good shit. Right oh, there. no. That's oh, shit. no. Wow. That cured my illness. That is oh, great. Good. Good. Now, baby. I'm, good. I'm about to go, honey. Go get a surprise. Go get a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you how to drink it. <laughs> wow. Oh my that God. That is fucking crazy. Hey, this is on Facebook. I can't share this, man. Yeah, this is a business. Yeah, this is a business. Take a look. We might get some more business. Wow. Did you, like, did you do that uh, web source? Wow. <laughs> and this is Brandy. Brandy King. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Brandy King. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn. Wow. Wow. Damn. I'm looking at our picture. Bobby, they would think you the crazy nigga in the picture. <laughs> you, be, you be looking like the nigga just got out. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Oh, scared me. Look. Scared me. Look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was kind of worried the sound was on my shoulder. You look like Raven. <laughs> <laughs> Where you at? That's funny as hell. Look kind of cockeyed. <laughs> that old cockeyed. Yeah, that look. <laughs> yeah. That's why I tell Kim that sometimes she get talking crazy. Just I say, look at you over there looking like your crazy ass <laughs> sister Cheryl. Oh, God. Boy, that's Mr. Girl. Yeah, that's Mr. Girl. Hey, what's happening with that lady? You know, that lady she be like in Washington State. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's been out of here. Oh, that's good to talk about. I was married to one. Hey, but you know what? I guess the best thing about it is just that the NAACP doesn't discriminate for who's in prison. <laughs> yeah, they do. Hey, yeah, they so, know. Color people. She's, she's, she's a caller. You know, she does have a little engine. Who's that? Can he go? Nah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Marcus. Huh? 